Alright guys, welcome to your fifth cute tutorial, and in this tutorial I want to take a break from the GUI programming and I want to uh, talk about something that a lot of people ask me on my forum and through YouTube messaging, and that is why do we need to use this arrow instead of the dot separator whenever we want to use this show function right here. So a lot of people are confused between the dot dot, I mean excuse me, the colon colon, the dot operator, and the arrow because all of those allow you to use functions from classes or objects so let me go ahead and explain that right now say you have a class called A and you want to use a uh, member called B you can go ahead and use the dot dot just like this now you're saying okay well why would I even want to use that dot dot or why do people uh, prefer this to other ways? Well, they do this to specify which class the member B is coming from because you can have the same variable names in several classes, the same functions names in several classes. Say that you have a member B in A. Say that you also have a member B in the class Tuna. Say that you also have a member B in the class Bacon. Well, what the colon colon does is it specifies which class you are coming from. So this means use tuna's B, use bacon's B, use A's B. Simple enough. So that's when you use the colon colon. Sometimes I accidentally call it dot dot. My apologies. But the core reason for that is because if you have B in more than one classes, then it allows you to specify which class is coming from. Now the dot separator like A dot B or tuna dot B is very simple. Uh, that's the most common one that we used before. Whenever tuna is an object and B is a member from that object it allows you to use that member from that object again we really don't need to talk about that because if you know anything about C++ and how to create an object that's the probably the very first thing you learn how to use members from that object now the reason that we can't do that with this right here is if we look closely we notice that we didn't create an object what we did is we actually created a pointer that points to a label object. So a pointer and an object are two very different things and you know it's a pointer because this little asterisk right here. So what this means a arrow B is basically not basically it's exactly the same thing as this a dot B. Basically you want to use the B member from this A pointer. However, whenever, and guys, I know this is confusing, but whoever invented C++ came up with this, so don't blame me that there's all these rules. But you can't use the dot separator on a pointer. So you can't go label.show because this label right here is a pointer. It's not an object. You see? So whenever you have um, a case where you have a pointer and you want to dereference it and then call a member from it this is what you have to use an arrow so basically without getting into too much details about pointer and pointers and all that stuff whenever you have a pointer you use the arrow whenever you have an object you use the dot separator so hopefully you guys understand now why we have to use the arrow instead of the dot separator because label if you look closely, you can see that it's a pointer and not a simple object. 